A Brazilian Senate committee approved a report on Tuesday that calls for an indictment of President Jair Bolsonaro for his handling of the coronavirus pandemic. It includes crimes against humanity and eight other charges. The rapporteur of the report, Senator Renan Caileros, said, quote, The chaos of Jair Bolsonaro's government will enter history as the lowest level of human destitution. The more than 1,300-page report, which took the committee over six months to prepare, alleges nearly 80 other people and two companies committed crimes. Among those in the firing line was the governor of the interior Amazon state, Wilson Lima, who's been accused of corruption related to the purchasing of medical equipment. Earlier this year, hospitals in the state lacked oxygen supplies, which resulted in deaths by asphyxia. A draft of the report originally called for Bolsonaro to be indicted for genocide and murder, but senators later decided to drop those charges. The president's press office did not immediately respond to a request for comment. It's unlikely he'll face any formal charges as they'd have to be brought by Brazil's prosecutor general, a seat Bolsonaro appointed. The president has previously dismissed the Senate investigation as a joke. There is a very large flow of tourists. Prices have skyrocketed for all the destinations that we provide. Due to this lockdown, people are leaving. It started about five or six days ago after they announced the lockdown. Clearly no one wanted to stay in Moscow because what can you do here? So demand went up by about five times for sure. Egypt is extremely popular, probably the most popular tourist product right now. And the price has at least doubled for sure. We've bought one, but it's not what we wanted. Both the departure time and the number of days are off. It's very hard to find something. It's unreal. Of course, all of this is unpleasant. The whole situation is very stressful, but what can you do? It's a shame to give up on your plans. It's not my first holiday this year. It's probably the fifth. Everything will be great. The streets of Haiti were unusually quiet on Tuesday. Days of fuel shortages have left people with few transportation options, forced the closure of some businesses, and threatened the daily running of hospitals. Gang members have blocked the entrance to ports that hold vital fuel stores, as their leader demands Prime Minister Ariel Henry step down. The people of Haiti are already struggling under a weakening economy and a wave of gang kidnappings. This local resident says the situation is dire. There is no petrol in the country. Hospitals are unable to operate. I think other institutions could close their doors, but hospitals cannot run out of diesel. We are at the most serious level. This is the limit. Because today public hospitals are not operating, private hospitals are not operating. Maternity wards with newborns, wards with COVID patients. In a radio interview on Monday, the country's main gang boss, Jimmy Charizia, said he would ensure the safe passage of fuel if Henri steps down. His statement shows how gangs have taken on an increasingly political role following the July assassination of President Jovenel Moyes. The gang leader also demanded that Henri answer questions linking him to Moyes' murder. The Prime Minister has denied any involvement. Elections originally scheduled for November have been suspended after Henri last month dismissed the council that organises the vote. German sportswear giant Puma increased its 2021 sales outlook on Wednesday despite lingering supply chain pressures. Factories in Vietnam, a major supplier to the footwear industry, have been closed due to the global health crisis, and factory owners have said they only expect to fully resume operations from the second half of next year. Puma chief executive Bjorn Gulden said the company was also having to cope with port congestion and shortages of container ships that are pushing up freight costs, along with a, quote, very difficult market situation in China. Third quarter sales rose a currency adjusted 20.4 per cent to $2.21 billion, while operating profit also jumped well ahead of forecasts. 
Rival Nike cut its fiscal 2022 sales expectations last month and said it expected delays during the holiday shopping season, blaming a supply chain crunch. Puma sales jumped 31% in the Americas and 22% in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. However, they only rose 1.7% in the Asia-Pacific due to ongoing tensions in China and lockdowns in markets including Japan. Eine glückliche Hand. Vielen Dank. Der Bundespräsident. Danke Ihnen sehr. Ich glaube, Sie müssen einen Augenblick noch für die Kameras. <lacht> ja. Da muss man länger stehen. <lacht> Danke. Ich bitte, Herr Bundesminister, Herr Bundesminister, nach vorne zu treten. Herr.